Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to send Ethereum. The first step here is to exchange BTC for Ethereum. And the way you're going to want to do this is go to your Exodus account, which looks like this. If you have not set up an Exodus account yet, go ahead and do so. You're also going to need the Ethereum wallet. In my previous video, I made a tutorial on how to do that. So go watch that first before you do this. So again, the first step here is to exchange BTC for Ethereum. And I'll show you how I do that. On your Exodus desktop wallet, what you're going to do once you open it up is first you have to fund the account. So you will have to deposit Bitcoin uh, into this account first. But once you do that, all you have to do is click exchange here. This exchange on the Exodus wallet is connected to Shapeshift and uh, Exodus here allows you to exchange multiple cryptocurrencies. So in this video, we're going to ex exchange Bitcoin for Ethereum. So all you have to do here is click Bitcoin. And then on the right where it says receive here, you're just going to stick with the Ethereum option. So at this point in the video, I'm going to go ahead and choose the amount of cryptocurrencies I want to send over to Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. So what I want to do is send an even amount. So I'll just choose $100. However, when I'm choosing the price, I'm calculating the fee also. And it looks like it's going to charge about $5 to exchange Bitcoin into Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 105 for the transaction. And then I can expect $100 worth of Ethereum in USD once I do so. Now that I've chosen the amount, all I have to do here is click exchange. And it's saying that it's sending Bitcoin to exchange. And to be clear, what it's doing is it's sending Bitcoin to Ethereum. And the Ethereum address that they're using is the one in this Exodus wallet. So it says here, step two, your exchange is now in progress. In 60 minutes or less, your Ethereum will arrive. You can safely use or quit Exodus while an exchange is in process. So at this point in the video, what we're gonna do now is just wait for the transaction to complete. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up in this portfolio here. And if I click wallet, you're gonna notice that Ethereum, if I click Ethereum here, it's gonna show up here. Uh, instead of zero dollars, it's gonna show about a hundred dollars in US dollars worth of Ethereum. It says it's gonna take less than 60 minutes to complete. So I'm just gonna come back to this video once it arrives in my account. Okay, great. It looks like it just confirmed right now and that the Ethereum converted into Bitcoin about a minute ago. That means we're going to move to step number two, which is to send the Ethereum to the Ethereum wallet. And the first step here is to get the correct address from the person or the account you're sending the Ethereum to. What I'm going to do here is go to my Ethereum wallet. If I click on this account number one right here and then go to the right where it says copy address, I'm going to copy that address and you can't see it, but it says that it uh, copied the address to the clipboard. The other way to get the address is to ask your friend who has the Ethereum address and tell them to give it to you so that you could send Ethereum to them. Moving forward, I'm going to copy this address here. I'm going to go back to my Exodus wallet and I'm going to go to my portfolio or to my wallet here. What I'm going to do is click the send button. I'm going to paste this address. I'm just going to double check that it's the correct address by looking at the last six uh, characters right here, which is 100B8B. And if I go back to my Ethereum wallet, you'll see that it says the same thing, 100B8B as the last six characters of this account. So I'm going to go ahead and send this. I'm going to choose the amount. And what you want to do here is make sure you send a small test transaction first about five or seven dollars. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and pick the USD option because it's much simpler to calculate. And it says here you are sending five dollars and the network fee is three cents. 
and it says send. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send here. And it says, are you sure you wanna send $5 USD? All you have to do now is click the send button. And there you go, transaction successfully sent. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay here. And what you'll notice here in the wallet now is that it says sent a few seconds ago and it's starting to process. So the next step here is step number three, which is to verify the pending transaction on the Block Explorer. And the Block Explorer we're gonna use today in this video is etherscan.io. So we're gonna go to this website right here, etherscan.io. It is a secure website. You could tell by the green padlock right here, and it is connected to an HTTPS website. What I'm gonna do now is copy and paste that same address that I sent it to. I'm going to search it here on the top right and click go. And what happens is it'll say latest transaction and it'll tell you that a transaction was just sent a minute ago and it looks like it's still pending. And from this information, it looks like the transaction was sent. So let's move on to step number four now, which is to confirm the transaction was received. And all we have to do is go back to my Ethereum wallet. And as you can see here, it says 0 0.03 Ether. And that just means that the transaction was actually sent. So as you can tell, it took seconds to do, which is really good. It was a lot faster than changing it from Bitcoin to Ether, which took about less than five minutes. When I sent the Ether from my Exodus wallet to my Ethereum wallet, it sent in a matter of seconds. So that's cool. So now we're just going to verify that the transaction is complete and we could just search the address one more time here and click go. And it looks like it went through right here. Ether value, $5.02. And the transaction looks complete here. So that looks good. The next step here is to send the rest of the Ethereum to the Ethereum wallet. So first you wanna verify that the recipient received the transaction. Since it's my account, I know that it was sent, so it is verified. However, if you're sending it to somebody else's account, you want to verify from them first that they received it. You could either have them email you or text you. Just make sure that they received the small test transaction first before you send the rest of them. We're gonna send the rest of the Ethereum now from the Exodus wallet to the Ethereum wallet. All I have to do is copy and paste this address back into the Exodus here. So I'm gonna click send, and then I'm gonna type in the address one more time. And then this time I could just click all, because I wanna send the rest of the Ethereum, which is $95.81. I'm gonna go ahead and click send, and then you'll notice that it's a three cent network fee. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that. It says, are you sure? I'm gonna say yes, send. And there you go, the transaction successfully sent. And to verify that it's sent, we could go back to my Ether scan here and then paste in the my Ether wallet address and then click go. And what happens now is you'll see the second transaction, which happened 45 seconds ago. So if we go check my wallet now, it shows up right here as 0.5003 Ether. So it did successfully send, that's great. And that's how you send the rest of the Ethereum to the Ethereum wallet. Here's one more note, but you can whitelist the address if needed. Let's say you have an employee or you have someone that you regularly send cryptocurrency to or you regularly send Ethereum to, you can whitelist it, whitelist their address and save it. And just know that every time you send Ethereum to this address, it's gonna be sent to that contact. It's kind of like saving a contact in your phone, but what you're really doing here is saving an address and a name uh, so that you can reference it next time you wanna send them more money or send them more crypto. Okay, great. So the last step here, which is step number six, the final step is to send Ethereum from your Ethereum wallet to an Ethereum address. And you do wanna send a test transaction first and then send the rest but I'm gonna show you how I do this right now. What I'm gonna do first is go to my Exodus account and instead of sending, I'm actually gonna click receive under Ethereum here 
and I'm going to click receive. I'm going to press this button which says copy to address and then it now says it's copied. What I'm going to do now is go to my Ethereum account here. It has 0 0.50 Ether here. What I'm going to do is click this account and on the top here where it says send, I'm going to go ahead and click send. And what I'm going to do now is click to and I'm going to copy and paste that address that's from my Exodus account and I'm going to choose the amount here. I'm going to write here 0 0.025 Ether and the reason I'm cho choosing that is because that's what I sent last time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and send this transaction first. I'm going to scroll down. I will keep the, the fee as is and it says total Ether right here and then I'm just going to click send. But before I do that, I do want to verify the last characters of the address, which say AA2BE4. And if I go back to my Exodus receive account, it says AA2BE4. So this is the right address. I'm going to go ahead and click send now, right here. It's saying that it wants me to put in my password. As far as this goes, I use a password from my password manager. So I'm going to go ahead and log in into my password manager and then copy and paste the password I have connected to my wallet here. Okay, great. So I just got my address and I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that and I'm going to click send and it looks like it's confirming. And if I scroll down here all the way to the bottom, it's saying that it's sending right now. So at this point in the video, it looks like it's going to take some time to send. So go ahead and be patient for that. And what's going to happen is it's going to show up in your Exodus account or it's going to show up where you sent your Ethereum to. And if I go back to my Exodus right here, it actually says that it just sent and that it's pending right here. So great. It looks like it received. It sent me back five dollars in and one cent. And it, it says that this is the transaction right here. What I can do is click it and then it will take me to the transaction ID and it'll take me to a block explorer to show me that the transaction actually went through to the block explorer. Now that it's confirmed, great. I know this is the actual address. Remember, I'm just sending $5 because I want to test to make sure that I'm sending it to the right account before I send all of it. And that's definitely a good rule of thumb and standard practice in this cryptocurrency space. So now that it's confirmed, I'm going to go ahead and click receive and then send the rest by copying and paste this. I'm going to go back to my Ether wallet here and click send. I'm going to copy and paste my address once more. There's a button here which says send everything. I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to keep these settings the same and I'm going to go ahead and click send. And remember, you're going to need your password from your password manager to actually send the transaction. So I just did that. I'm going to copy and paste that here. And then I'm going to go ahead and send the transaction. And if I scroll all the way down, it's saying that it's pending right here. So this is the transaction right here. And it's still confirming. So if you notice what it said just now, it said that it couldn't be successfully verified. So what I'm going to have to do is try again. I'm going to click receive here. I'm going to copy and paste this address. I'm going to go to my Ethereum wallet here. I'm going to click send and then I'm going to type in my address right here. And then what I'm going to do is click send everything. And I'm going to skip these options here. I'll leave it as is and then I'm going to click send and then I'm going to get my password from my password manager. I'm going to copy and paste that and then click send here and it looks like it's pending again. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for the 12 confirmations, the 12 confirmations that they need to verify the transaction. So go ahead and wait for that. And there it is. It looks like it worked the second time. So I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but if it doesn't, just go ahead and try it again because I did and it worked. And if I refresh this for my Ether scan, it says that the transaction just went out, out of the account 53 seconds ago and it sent the 
rest of the amount of the ether, which was 0.47512. So that's great. And if I look back on my Exodus account, it shows that I received the entire transaction. So congratulations, you successfully sent Ethereum. In this video, I am not talking about how to receive it, back it up, protect it, or even update the wallet. I just wanted to show you how to send the Ethereum. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Go ahead and check out the display address here on the screen or check out the links below. You could also follow our team on Twitter. You could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching this blockchain tutorial on how to send Ethereum. If you have any suggestions for future videos, send them to me on Twitter. Have a terrific day and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.